Hey guys, Scott from Fright Props here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Color Piano light fixtures. Uh, this is a new lighting technology that we're very excited about. We've showed you Color Piano in the past, but we now have fixtures that are dedicated to be used only with Color Piano. So the Color Piano technology is built into the fixture. Uh, we have this uh, spotlight unit here, and we also have a rope light that we'll be looking at later. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of show off the uh, fixture itself, demo the technology, give you some ideas of what you can do using these awesome lights. So we can take a look at the fixture itself here. You can see it's a relatively small fixture. Uh, comes with a mounting bracket here so that you can attach it to a surface and aim it as you choose. Uh, it also has two inputs here. One is for controlling the device and also for triggering the device and the other is for power. So let's go ahead and hook this up to our iPhone here and start controlling it so you can see how that works. The color piano lights are controlled by a free app that you can get for iPhone and Android. It's called the Gantam Programmer. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and then it'll list a bunch of devices and one of them is color piano. So we're just going to go ahead and click color piano and it's going to walk us through the steps of hooking the light up to the phone. Uh, what we will need to do this is a standard eighth inch male to male audio cable. And what we're going to do first is connect one end of the cable to the fixture and the other end to the phone. Then we're going to take 12 volt power and apply it to the light. Then we'll hit next. This will bring up the color piano interface and you can see now if we start pressing the different colors we can actually change the color of the light. So what this allows us to do is actually program in a sequence of color changes and lighting effects with no additional lighting controller needed, just your phone and a free app, and it will actually store this program in the internal memory of the fixture. You can see that we have control over the color of the light, as well as the intensity. You can also choose a fade effect so that when you select a new color, the light will fade between the two colors. And there are different speeds, slow, medium, and fast for how quickly that fade will take place. Or no fade will just make it happen instantly. We also have a number of pre-programmed macros, which are basically different effects you can choose from. For instance, we have a heartbeat. And you can adjust the speed and intensity of all of these macros. We also have a power surge effect, a candle flicker, and a strobe effect. And again, you can change the intensity and the speed to basically create any type of lighting effect uh, that you can think of. The color piano technology also features two finger multi-touch so that you can actually hold down a color and tap a second color to just have that color flash on for a few seconds. So you can use that technology to create a number of different effects as well, such as say like a alarm strobe, you hold down red and tap blue to create a red and blue alarm strobing effect. If you want to change up the pattern, you just change the way you hit the button. You can also hold blue and tap the red. Uh, so any sort of combination that you can think of. So aside from being able to control the light's color just with this touch interface, the color piano technology also allows us to program sequences into the light itself. And much like a peekaboo controller, we have both an ambient and a triggered show. So we can have one show that's running in a continuous loop whenever the light's plugged in, and another show that we can actually trigger with an external trigger. So let's go ahead and do an ambient show. You can see here that I've selected the ambient show. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light to black, and I can hit record. Now, when I hit my next color choice, it will go ahead and start recording into the controller in real time. So if you want a light to stay on for three seconds, you would just let it stay on for three seconds. If you want to do a pattern, just tap the pattern out in real time, and the light will do whatever it is you enter. So let's go ahead and do red, green, blue. And we'll go ahead and hit stop. So we can now preview our program by hitting play. And it should go red, green, blue. If we unplug the light from the controller, it will start just looping our ambient show. 
If we want to change the show, we just plug the light back into the uh, device and we can actually program a new show. So we can do, say, a candle flicker, hit record, tap our color, it'll start recording in. If that's all that we want to happen, we can just hit stop. And then once we unplug the light, it will just continue doing the candle flicker effect. As I mentioned earlier, you can also have a triggered show. So to do that, you just select the triggered show icon and you, uh, let's say we want to do a strobing effect. We can just uh, get it set up here, hit record, and then tap the color that we want the strobe to be. So we'll just tap the white. You can see it starts counting up the memory usage. So we'll just count to one or two, or three, and uh, stop it. You can see if we unplug the light, it'll actually just turn back to our candle flicker, which we programmed as our ambient mode. Now we can apply a trigger and see how that works. So now that we have our trigger effect recorded into the light, we can go ahead and add a trigger. As I mentioned earlier, the same input that's used to program the light via the uh, uh, app is also the input that you attach a trigger to. Here I have a simple uh, button trigger, which I've wired up to an adapter, which is meant to fit that input. You can see that I've just wired the two wires from the button to the two farthest terminals on the adapter. This is a simple push button, so all it does is touch these two wires together and close the circuit when the button's pressed. So we can go ahead and just insert this adapter into the input here. Now we can hit our button and it should play our strobe effect. And once it's done playing the effect, it will return back to our ambient show. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the rope light fixture. So this is the color piano rope light. It's actually exactly the same as the other color piano light fixture, except it's a rope light, which basically means it's a long strip of LEDs with an adhesive backing so that you can stick it uh, wherever you like. And it also comes with this color piano RGB driver, which is sort of the brains that tells the rope light what to do. And we'll go ahead and show you how it works. First, you just need to connect the uh, RGB output to your light. These two connectors go together. There's some small little arrows to make sure that you're uh, putting them in the right way. You want to be fairly careful inserting them so that you don't bend the pins or break the pins. And you just push them together like that. Then we can go ahead and connect our audio cable for programming. So we'll go ahead and uh, just like the color piano light, it still has the two inputs, one for power, one for programming and triggering. So we'll go ahead and plug into the uh, programming input first and then into our device. Then we'll go ahead and power up the unit and hit next. So you can see, just like the color piano light, that we can change the color of the entire rope light string just by selecting the different colors. We can do the same effects that we were doing with the color piano light. All the same features that the color piano light has just in this rope light format. Because of the built-in control capabilities, the color piano lights are especially good for escape rooms and creating uh, color clues. Uh, for instance, let's say you had a sequence of buttons that needed to be placed, uh, pressed in the correct order and they were color-coded buttons. You could create a clue using the uh, color piano light that would indicate what the correct sequence of colors was. So I'll show you how you would do that now. So the first thing you'd want to do is program your ambient show. And let's say you just wanted the light to be off uh, unless it was triggered. So you just choose black and you can just wait a couple seconds and then hit stop. So now the ambient show of this light is actually just black. Uh, so it'll appear to be off uh, whenever it's not being triggered. Then we can go ahead and create a triggered show. And let's say we want to go red, blue, green, yellow. So all we're going to do is hit record and we're just going to go red, blue, green, yellow, and we'll hit stop. Now when we unplug the light, it's going to go ahead and shut off because it's actually playing that ambient show. It's actually just playing its show, which is nothing at this point. We can go ahead and introduce our trigger, just as we did with the previous light. Hit the button and it should play our color sequence. Red, blue, green, then yellow and then it will actually shut back off going back to playing the ambient mode. 
So you could actually have players in escape room have to step on a certain spot, activate a touchpad, or even move an RFID sensor in order to trigger a light to play a sequence that then needs to be uh, relayed over to another puzzle. All right, so that's a quick look at the color piano lights. Both the uh, standard light and the rope light are available for under 50 bucks. No additional controller needed. So uh, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at Thanks a lot.